Okay, problem 17. Wastewater collection book, sewergeek.com. A wet well is 20 feet deep by 15 feet in diameter. When the pump is not running, the level rises 36 inches in 4 minutes 25 seconds. If the level falls 5 inches in 5 minutes while the pump is running, what is the pump rate in GPM? A whole lot of words. Let's see. We'll start breaking this thing up into something we can use, something we can understand. So we've got a 20 foot deep, 15 foot diameter wet well. 15 feet across. It's 20 feet deep, but I suspect that's not going to be important. Let's simplify this 36 inches. We're going to turn that into feet. And that's 3 feet. What do we got here? 4 minutes and 25 seconds. Well, this is in gallons per minute. So we're going to need gallons and minutes. So this is going to be in, that's in minutes. 4 minutes, 25 seconds. Let's put that in 25 divided by 60. 25 divided by 60 is going to give me 0.416. So let's go make this 4.416. Or 4.42 would be fine. We'll do that. 4.42 minutes. 5 inches. We'll get that to feet. 5 divided by 12. 0 0.416. 0 0.42 feet would be fine. In 5 minutes. So it's getting a little easier to deal with. So the depth's not going to matter because we've got when our level rises three feet and the pumps off right the pump is not running it rises three feet in 4.42 minutes the level falls 0 0.4 two feet in five minutes when the pumps on so on it's going to go down 0 0.42 feet in five minutes all right we're getting somewhere and what we want to know two things with the pump off that's going to tell us how much water is coming in the level of rise is going to tell us how much is coming in then we turn the pump on, and that level is going to tell us what's going out. But while this continuously comes in and the pump is on, the water level falls, which means the pump is keeping up. Whatever the pump rate is, it's greater than input. So we'll just do that. Out is greater than in. Sounds like a better way to do it. All right. So the first thing what we're going to do is we're, we'll figure out what's coming in. So that's not going to be too difficult. The volume. We'll we'll do the area first. The area of the tank is 15. Well, write the formula first. Area equals diameter squared times point. 0.785 so that's going to be 15 squared times 0.785 that's going to be whoops times 15 176 176.625 which 6 will work for me feet squared. So what I will do is I'll just turn around and go like this. 176.6 feet squared. That's my area. So for the volume, it's just the area times the depth. So I'm going to take 
625 times 3. That's going to give me 529.875.9 will work. Feet cubed. I'm going to turn it into gallons times 7.48 gallons per foot. Gallons per foot cubed. And that's going to give me times 7. 8. That's going to give me 36.93 gallons because the feet cube kill each other and you've got 36.93 gallons coming in. And that's in 4.42 minutes. So I'm going to take 36.9, whoops, 3,693 gallons. Divided by 4.42 minutes. Eight hundred ninety-six point seven. Eight hundred ninety-six point seven gallons per minute. So that's what's coming in. Eight ninety-six point seven GPM coming in. How much is leaving? The water levels falling. We said the output is greater than input, so whatever this is, it's greater than 896.7. How much greater than is this number right here? But what we can do right now is get rid of any number that's less than 896. It only kills one of them. But that's okay because that's going to get one that's going to cause a mistake. So now we're going to figure out the volume of this. And let's just do it down here. Point four two feet times the area, 176.6 feet squared. I could have done the diameter squared times 0.785 times 0.42, but I've already got it there. And then I'm going to go to times 7.48 gallons per foot cubed. And that's going to give me... 0.42 times 176.6 times 7.48 gives me 554.8 gallons. But I need an GPM. So I need to go divide it by 5 minutes. And that's going to give me. 110.96 gallons per minute. That's the equivalent of how it took to lower this. So this out is great is is greater than input, greater than 896.7. How much greater? That much. So I'm going to go plus input 96.7 gallons per minute. And that's going to give me 1,006, 1,007 and point something, who cares, 1,007 gallons per minute. Because that's it right here, it's B. And just for fun I'll go plus 896.7, so it was 1,007.6. Point seven really. So there's your answer. One thousand seven point six six gallons per minute. That one was just a little bunch of little small parts.